Yo, yo, yo! What's up, YouTube? Surreal Canine here with more Disguise 4 Promise Revisited. The last set of character demos we did were the second half of the monster units. In this episode, we are going to cover the generic DLC classes. Now, some of these uh, come in a package set with other characters, so uh, I will let you know. First up, we have the Death Saber, who comes with pink. Death Sabers, they magic change to fists, and uh, as you can see, they've got some uh, pretty different abilities than their uh, Cat Saber counterparts. First up, Vanishing Cat. Uh, turns the targets back toward you when attacking while adjacent, so they always get a back attack. Meowie Land increases all their stats by 10% times the number of cat type units on the map. Cat Block decreases damage by taken by 50% if you're higher up than your attacker. And Playing Dead survives a deadly blow by going to sleep. Pretty cool. Let's take him into the battlefield and see what he can do. Go, go, kitty power. Now, I was not able to uh, determine what tiers he levels up at by just looking it up in the uh, Disguise Wiki or Game Facts, so uh, I don't have any information for you today. Instead, we're just going to check this out. Kitty Drill! And by the way, if you plan to use a Death Saber, it should be noted that the uh, sixth tier Death Saber has higher stats than pink. Okay? Okay. Deadly Bats! Yeah, these are all the same skills, I'm afraid. Oh well. We still got Kitty Power. Kitty power, and we got a kitty that uh, doesn't hold back against guys who attack. Good times. Death wing. You know, in the end, they are all recolors of Evil Tank. Death Scratcher! Kitty Scratching Post. That level 1 commoner did not stand a chance. So, that, are his, that is his unique skills, but we still have magic change to go through. Sylvia, get on out here. First up, we have... not that. Death Paws! So yeah, same as pink. No surprise there, really. They just use that one paw sprite for everything, don't they? <laughs> okay. 
Next up, we have yet another familiar face. This is... Sylvia the Medic. Medics are a kind of unique classes that uh, learn both sword skills and healing spells. Not bows, as uh, as their uh, weapon fortes might, might claim. As you can see, their res and their hit are uh, higher than their attack, but I still put a sword on Sylvia and look how strong she is. The specialty of the medic is a... Uh, is a uh, utility. As you can see, they... they uh, whenever they are deployed, allies in the base panel recover 5% HP and SP every turn. I mean, it's free healing. What more could you want? Transportation allows you to send allies to the base panel with a special command. Medical error uh, poisons adjacent enemies at the end of the turn, and sanitation control heals adjacent allies' status ailments at the end of the turn. Pretty good stuff all around. But as far as I am concerned, their real utility is in their special skills. Let's take Sylvia into the reincarnation site and see what is up. As you can see, Send has a range of 3. It just sends them straight to the base panel. In addition to their uh, 6 sword skills and 6 healing spells, they also learn Espoir, Braveheart, and Target Lock, apparently. They probably learn the other, uh, probably learn the other spells too, actually. I should check. Anyway, Syringe Blast. Revitalize and power up with this huge syringe. Let's see what it does. There. Yeah, attack, int, speed, and hit, all up by 37%. Pretty cool. But, their greatest skill is this. Let's go, cha-cha-cha. It gives the target an extra turn. Pretty cool stuff. Taking a while. <laughs> okay. Next up, we have the Necromancer. The Necromancer learns uh, the ninth tier fist skill, six tiers of gun skills, plus the ninth tier. And uh, six star type spells and blind. An interesting uh, set of uh, things here. Both the medic and the necromancer gain class tiers at levels 30, 70, 140, 280, and 560. Mysterious girl who controls the bodies and souls of the dead. Necromancy brings back defeated enemies as zombies and. Uh, use them. I don't know if that makes them neutral or allies. You can see that their uh, primary aptitude is int and sp. Undead causes them to come back as a 1 HP zombie when defeated. Dead Man's High increases their stats by 5% per zombie on the map. That could be interesting when paired up with Necromancy. Queen of Cream of Blood. Uh, units zombified by necromancy will enjoy EXP and mana gain. Huh. Hmm. 
Does that mean, uh, does that mean Majorita here gets, uh, the XP from zombie kills? Probably. Let's go! Coming. First up, Skull Crace. Or Christ, I don't know. Coming. Okay, so they're neutral. Deathly powers. Heal HP and SP depending on number of defeated party members. Apparently, 5% of our HP and SP per defeated party member. I guess. I Fourth DLC class for today is the Angel. Angels uh, become available when you recruit Main Hero B. It learns six bow skills and six healing spells. As you can see, they've got very, very well-rounded aptitudes. Uh, the only one higher than any of the others is Rez. Angel Protection has the non-elemental damage to adjacent allies. Angel Potion. You know what? These are exactly the same as main hero B, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, they totally are. Alright, well then. We are going to uh, go to the battlefield and get this over with, I guess. <clears throat> you idiot. Carol Channel a healing aura to heal HP and cure ailments But only on yourself, apparently Actually, does this work on party members? That would be something to check out Let's See if it does It heals the entire party. Okay, good to know. Miracle of Love. In exchange for your life, revive an ally unit. Sylvia, if you would do the honors. Choose character to revive. Character apparently revives in the base panel. Good to know. Let's get all these guys out of here. demo <laughs> for the next class, the Kunoichi. Kunoichis join the party when you uh, recruit Kyoko and Asuka. And believe it or not, they are not just a uh, recolored Kyoko. They've got their own set of skills. Kunoichi. 
Kunoichi learns six fist skills and three sword skills, as well as the slumber, stun, and charm spells. As you can see, they favor attack and speed, as well as a little bit of int, and... These are their abilities. Flame Haze. Uh, it gives them a 50% chance to evade multi-target attacks. Consecutive Shot. Increases their damage by 50% if they attack more than once. Near T. Raises their stats by 5% every time an attack is dodged. Fall of Castle. Gives them a 100% critical rate when defending units are struck. Not quite sure what that means. But let's take her onto the battlefield and see what else she can do. Ninja Art Wind Wrap. Increases evasion by 80% for three turns. That could be very useful. Of course, my speed was so high they weren't going to hit me anyway. And, uh, just for the sake of completion and for the sake of consistency, let's use three year crush kill again. Pretty cool. Now, our uh, our list of dispatches may be used up, but that is because the final DLC class is uh, very unique indeed. Meet the Prism Rangers! Every color of generic Prism Ranger, which, by the way, they join you when uh, you recruit Prism Red, they level up at or they class up at the sk uh, uh, levels 15, 40, 80, 163, 20. A cool show-off once arrival of red. A glutton who loves processed meats. A bookworm who loves science. A man with a lady's sensibilities. A traveler from a foreign country. A normal guy, he's trying to find himself. As you can see, they are completely different uh, classes. They've got completely different aptitudes. And they've got slightly different abilities as well. Prism Blue favors uh, favors guns. He learns the speed boost spell, and his uh, aptitudes favor speed. Accelerate increases the speed of adjacent allies by 10%. Prism Yellow favors spears uh, and prioritizes defense. Vengeance increases ally defense by 10%. Prism Green favors magic, learning uh, apparently only two levels each of the uh, of the tri element spells, as well as magic boost. Me they favor int, and meditation increases ally int. Prism Purple. Favors axes and magic wall. Their uh, their aptitudes favor res. So does their uh, fortitude ability. Prism orange favors bows. Their aptitudes prioritize hit, and their accuracy raises ally hit. And prism aqua favors uh, is a uh, pretty well balanced all around. They favor fists. And they learn the Braveheart skill, as well as Battle Order, which increases ally attack. Except for, uh, except for Prism Green, which learns two elemental spells, I think. Let's uh, verify that before I go making claims. Yeah. Okay, I was right. Two each. In addition to that, all of the Prism Rangers get 
Prism Emblem, which increases their stats if seven allies with Prism Emblem are dispatched. So, let's deploy all of them and see what is up. Not you. I forgot to equip their abilities. I'm an idiot, by the way. <laughs> Here we go. Boy, eat this power of science. Here I go. I go, we go. I'm worthless. A 50% stat buff. It's not very much, guys. Oh well. Friend power increased chance of team attack when attacking. Camaraderie. When attacking, a teammate will come help. Let's try it. What was that? <laughs> That was just weird. Very, uh, very Kirby star allies here. That's just a normal forward person team attack. Still pretty cool to see. And that is every generic class in the game, but we are not quite done with this Let's Play yet. Uh, I plan to show off the, uh... Eh, you know what? We got time for one of these things now. Let's go to the data shop. Here are our Netherworld records, by the way. 206 hours. Max reincarnation number 10 times. 63 reincarnations. 142 Senate hearings. 139 bills approved, 360 bribes given, 308 printing explosions, 66 tower attacks, 54 items stolen, 211 uh, monster bounces, 2050 throws, 338 chests open, 1872 jumps at the base, a whole ton of HP healed, SP regained, and revivals, 53 educational tri what does that mean? Oh, that means torture, okay. 155 item world visits, 40 max levels cleared at once, 1,121 item world levels cleared, 19 tower world visits, 10 levels max cleared at a time, 190 level t total tower world levels cleared, 451 mystery room visits, 29 uh, mystery room battles, 84 uh, bands of pirates, 11 heart conservatives defeated. 100% character creation rate. 51.77% item collection. 26.63 ship parts. 18.18% object collection. 
93.26% skill collection. And here are our characters. I'll just uh, read through these quietly, you can read along.
That is all of the character classes in the game. For my final video, I think I'm going to uh, show off the little skits that play every time you create a new generic character. It should be a pretty good time. I'll see you all then. Bye bye for now.